Visual security is top of mind for VMware and also our customers. Hi, my name is Dave Morera, and I'm going to give you an overview of Visual security and how do we connect to the cloud securely and what happens to the data in your on-prem environment. Previously, we talked about how the connection works, the onboarding process, and an overview of vSphere Plus. So vSphere Plus is giving you those cloud services and features to your on-prem environment without having to move anything over to the cloud. It's a secure connection. We can see that our on-prem environment here has a vCenter servers. We have gateway appliances that allows the connection between vCenters to the cloud without exposing the vCenters directly to the internet, which is what we want to see. We also have a firewall. So this firewall is going to allow us to block ports coming in and allowing ports going out. So that communication going outside to, to the cloud is going to go through the firewall on port 443. So everything's going through that firewall. That communication is encrypted. No username and password is being shared to the cloud environment or any of the VMware employees are looking after your cloud. Internally, there are several ports that need to be open to be able to communicate from the gateway appliance to the vCenter server if their firewall, internal firewalls working in between. So let's take this vCenter down here. Uh, this, this two down here, and create a little firewall here and explain how the communication process works here. So from a port perspective, we need to be able to talk to the vCenter on port 443, 7444, 5010 through 5019. So those are some of the internal ports that we need to communicate from the gateway appliance to vCenter server. But also, the admin, the USD admin here, need to be able to communicate to each one of those gateway appliances that you deploy. You would have to access the web console to go ahead and do the two steps necessary, which is connecting to the cloud and also connecting to your vCenters and register those vCenters in. That internal connection is going to use port 5480, so just like vCenter, VAMI, but also port 5484. So those are uh, necessary for an admin to connect to the gateway appliance. So if you have a jump box or jump VM that you utilize it, make sure that the admin can reach the gateway on those ports. Now, this gateway appliance will need DNS resolution internally, et cetera. Those are part of the requirements you can find on our documentation at docs.vmware.com or court.vmware.com, where we have a lot more technical documentation for vSphere Plus. So I mentioned that usernames and passwords are not being shared out to VMware. So when we see the UI, the VMware Cloud UI, you're going to see all your vCenter servers, right? But then we have uh, the FQDM, so you know, let's call it name, name or app of each one of those vCenters. So we have their name of the vCenter, name for ESXi, and name for the VMs. So you're going to be able to see all this information from your cloud, um, your cloud UI. But we're not exposing IP addresses of those individual VMs or ESXi. And we're also sending out some logs outside continuously. So these logs are going to be sent out continuously to the VMware Cloud. We have that basic information. We have entitlement information being sent out as well as needed. So that happens when we add and connect the gateway appliance to the cloud. So that entitlement is sent out as needed. We have continuous logs, like I said, so that we can be able to see which vCenter has errors or uh, analyze the security posture of each one of those vCenter servers. So some of the questions that come up as well is, what if I have proxy? Right? So the gateway appliance is able to be configured for proxy. 
when we log into this appliance, to this Gateway VM on port 5480, it looks very, very similar to vCenter BAMI. So on port 5480, you can log in and configure your proxy settings to be able to get out to the internet to connect to the cloud. So that is uh, something that you can do on each one of those gateways. Um, in previous videos, I talked about the ratio. So there's an 8 to 1 ratio from vCenters to gateways. So you can have eight vCenters connected to one gateway. So when we're doing this, uh, in essence, you're configuring the proxy for all that to be able to connect to the internet. Um, also, from a security standpoint, a lot of customers ask, hey, now you're telling me that I have to deploy these gateway VMs. And I already have a lot of VMs. I only have two admins, and we're, we have a lot of work to do. I don't have time to take care of those. Well, we do auto updates on those gateway appliances. So as new features come out, we're going to auto update those gateway appliances for you, and those features will be exposed to you. So the next time you log in to your VMware Cloud account and organization, you're going to be able to see those features already on, on the, your dashboard for the vCenters for vSphere Plus. Right? So again, we don't send any username and passwords out, port 443 only, going outside. Several ports internally, we need ports to be open to connect to each one of those gateway appliances. The data is not being shared with any third-party vendors for marketing purposes, and only as-needed basis, VMware SMEs have access, SREs have access to information, right? So now remember, one of the things I talked about was being able to ship those logs out to VMware Cloud, and we do this so we can have that view of what is happening. But also, if you need to open a support ticket, we already have that information. At that point, you can, from that, this same console, you can open a support ticket, and they will be able to see all the logs that have already been uploaded to the VMware Cloud. So from a standpoint of security, vSphere Plus is very secure. We can integrate with vSphere Plus, vCF Plus, still the same UI for all your environment, which is on-prem. Thank you.